Great. Okay, so I think we'll go on to our next uh, speaker, Adam Kadian. Adam, would you like to have the floor there? Yeah, uh, thanks, Alex, for the introduction. Um, <clears throat> unlike the other speakers, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, video to share, uh, but I do have some slides, and hopefully I can get through these real quick so we can get some more questions. All right, can everyone see that? All right, great. So, uh, yeah, my name is Adam Katie, and I am the lead uh, roboticist over at FarmWise. I run the robotic software team, uh, and FarmWise is a precision autonomous uh, farming company. Uh, so a quick introduction to us. Uh, we were founded in uh, 2016 by Thomas and Sebastian. Uh, we uh, were founded with this mission of applying technology to farming. Uh, as, as all of my other panelists here, uh, I think we share the same passion on that end. Uh, we're working on uh, vegetable crops, though. Uh, we have a 45-person team uh, split between San Francisco and Salinas. Uh, the Salinas Valley uh, is where we primarily operate where San Francisco is uh, where our engineering headquarters is, uh, and, the, and the people count is roughly split uh, half and half between operations and engineering. Uh, we also operate in uh, the Yuma Valley out in Arizona, uh, and our engineering team uh, solves both the software and the hardware problem. Uh, so before I dive into what exactly it is, what we do, I'd like to share kind of a bit more about our mission. So the way we see it is, that uh, farmer's job is phenomenally difficult. Uh, the demands placed on farmers are constantly increasing. We have to constantly produce more and more food, uh, whereas the constraints are also increasing. So really, uh, consumers want to see uh, less chemicals used uh, on farms uh, in general. Uh, and it's phenomenally difficult to put together uh, a hand crew to actually care for a commercial vegetable farm. Uh, and so, the way FarmWise has attacked this problem, problem is uh, by producing a mechanical weeding solution. Uh, and this is our first product. Uh, we're, we're interested in the full uh, spectrum of challenges in farming. Uh, and uh, the first one that we're tackling is weeding. Uh, so our first device uh, is called uh, Titan. It's shown here on the right, it's this big orange thing. Uh, it's really two devices. It's an autonomous tractor uh, on the front and in the rear uh, is an autonomous farming device. Uh, and the way uh, 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 we actually achieve uh, weeding on the farm is by using computer vision and machine learning uh, to, to pick out where the crops are in the field. Uh, we build a, a virtual map of where the crops are with respect to the robot. Uh, and then we solve the, the planning problem for our mechanical weeding solution. Uh, so on the, the NL side, uh, you know, this is a problem that I think uh, all, probably all of my, uh, my fellow panelists are, are facing as well. Uh, you know, this is a picture from our, our detection cameras. Uh, if I asked you to, to pick out all the lettuces, I'm, I'm guessing there's a few farmers here that could probably do it. Uh, but I have these, these conveniently labeled. Uh, this is something that our machine learning stack does uh, in real time. We have a, a team of computer vision experts that have solved this problem. And so it's, it's not just difficult to actually pick out where the lettuce is. We have to do this in real time, which is, uh, which is a, a pretty big challenge. And we have to do it really, really accurately. Uh, farmers don't have a lot of tolerance uh, if your reading device comes in and kills a whole lot of crops. Uh, so uh, I am an, an engineer, so I have to, uh, to give a little bit of an overview of the stack. I'm going to mostly skip over this, though. Uh, we, we are a raw stack. Uh, from the, the robotics paradigm, we, we break it down in, into the sense, plan, act uh, 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 sides of the problem. Uh, I'll, I'll just skip right over this and, and, and talk a bit more about the challenges that we face uh, operating on the farm. Uh, is extremely difficult. It is a phenomenally tough environment out there. Uh, we do interact with the soil, uh, and I'll show you a picture of what that, what that means here in a second. Uh, but just like any robotic stack, uh, we have problems uh, around detection. We have challenges around calibration, sensor fusion, odometry. All of these things add in error. And the more error that we have in our stack, the more likely it is that we're going to kill crops uh, or that we're going to miss weeds, which is just totally unacceptable. Uh, and so, uh, uh, again, to show you kind of how rough it really is to operate on the farm, uh, one of the tools that we use, we have a litany of tools that we use on the farm, actually, that we can swap out. One of them is a, a set of blades that kind of slice through the soil, and, and the idea is they kind of cut through the weeds. Uh, and I've got a picture of a fresh blade here on the left. Uh, and after about, uh, I believe, two weeks of use, uh, so maybe actually 10 to 12 days of run, running time, uh, this is what that same blade looks like here on the right. 
Uh, and really that, that might not be too big of a deal. You know, you just have an operator come in and swap out the blades. But the fact of the matter is that our robot has to, uh, has to detect the wear and tear that it's, in, that it's encountering in order to maintain that high degree of accuracy. Otherwise, we really can't operate. Uh, so that's a really, really big challenge for us. That's something that my team spends a lot of time trying to tackle. Uh, then we also have to operate, we're, we're a service company. So that means that farmers call us up and they ask, you know, hey, come on out, lead our farms. Uh, and that means that we encounter a whole lot of diversity. Uh, all, the, all the farmers out there treat their farms uh, very differently. Uh, not, not only that, but there's uh, obviously different crop types. Uh, we operate on crops at uh, any stage of growth effectively, uh, give or take. Uh, and then we also operate at day, during the day or at night, uh, uh, sun or, or, or clouds. Uh, we operate, um, generally uh, farmers don't operate on the farm if it's raining, so we don't have to tackle that pro uh, problem luckily. Uh, uh, but uh, this, this level of diversity means that we have to have a, a robotic stack that, that is extremely robust. Uh, anyways, in the nature, uh, in the interest of, of saving time here, uh, I'll just uh, hand it back over to Alex. We've got my email there down at the bottom if you're interested in, in getting uh, these slides, I'd be happy to send them along. All right, thank you. Thanks, uh, that's great. Thanks, Adam.